Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 28th or thereabouts. So this reading, the timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. You know, I've been going like this, sitting here. It's like somebody is marching to the beat of their own drum, or I'm hearing drums or something. You know, and I've been, I don't know what is going on, but it's just like, there's definitely some movement. And then, you know, and then I did it like five times. It was like, five, 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 five. And then I, and then I saw five, 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 five. And then I was like, nah, I can't start this reading out with five, five, five. You know, there's certain people out there that only want to hear the good shit. But y'all know I'm that tarot reader that doesn't give you just good shit. So anyway, um, I decided to do this a little bit early tonight because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired because I did readings all day. Skype readings. And they were great. Great. So, all of them. So, for you, those of you that that had them, thank you. It was great. It's, you know, I have decided to add uh, FaceTime to the mix. So, Skype or FaceTime. If you look underneath this reading, you will find the link to my schedule. So, let's get started. 555, expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Major changes are coming, okay? Major life changes are coming with 555. Instability, unpredictability, okay? So, what do we got for the 28th? Hmm. What do we have for the 28th? Well, there's been, this is the end of betrayal. It really is. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of pain. The storm is over. This is the end. The end of a crisis. There has been some sort of crisis, or there could be a crisis today. There could be a feeling of betrayal. Somebody could get hurt. Somebody could feel like they've been stabbed in the back or just, you know, betrayed. Or somebody could be ending a cycle of betrayal. This is a, this is a de feeling defeated. Ooh. Now, this is a decision being made, making a clear decision. Somebody has become clear of their choice. Ah, removing an obstacle. Somebody is removing an obstacle that has kept them confined. kept them contained. They're stepping outside of their own prison. They're stepping outside of their own barriers. They have become clear. They've made some sort of choice that they are not going to be stuck here in this situation. So yeah, congratulations. That's what we got. Ooh, somebody is standing their ground. Setting up a boundary. It's like, these are my boundaries. Ooh. Huh. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Not giving anything. I got nothing to give. Nothing. So, what do we got for the 28th? We have somebody that may be retracting something. You know, they're not giving it. They're, uh, I'm, I don't have anything to give you anymore. I'm not giving you my worth. I'm not giving you my value. Not giving it away. This person is very stubborn and hot headed. Somebody may have made some poor decisions. 
poor financial decisions. There could be even some financial loss here. A loss of stability, a loss of security. Somebody could be losing out on something that once was stable and solid, but now it's being taken away. Maybe this person was giving in the beginning, but they're not anymore. Unaware. Unaware. Somebody was unaware of an illusion. They were in a state of confusion. But it's like now, you know, they've, they've, be, they've received some sort of clarity. And whatever clarity that they have, been re that they have received is going to help them to remove themselves from a situation that they have been stuck in. They may have realized that they were dealing with somebody that had hidden agendas, somebody that was keeping secrets, somebody that was lying, somebody that wasn't telling the truth. They may realize that. They may have realized that they were holding on to a dead end. This is the death of an idea. Somebody is like very sick of holding on to something. It's caused them to isolate themselves. It's, this person has been through a repression. Seriously. This person has been some sort of re in, through some sort of repression holding on to this dead end. But now they're sticking up for themselves. Now they're defending themselves. Now they're like, you know what? You don't have anything to offer me. I don't got nothing to offer you. It hurts. It does hurt. It's painful. This is painful. It does hurt. Pain will make you act. <laughs> in a regretful manner, okay? When you are hurting, you may do things, you may make poor decisions when you are hurting. So I feel like somebody's pain has caused them to retract and it may have even caused some sort of bitterness, caused somebody to, to there, may, there may even be a fight, okay? There may be an altercation between two people. There may be an altercation. There could be some sort of um, painful words that are said, some harsh words that are said, because somebody is defending themselves. They're defending themselves from a person that has really made them frustrated. I think there's some frustrations today. In 555, I didn't mention because I don't want to scare anybody, but it's about conflict. I don't want people, you know, they don't want to hear it. There's some people that are in La La Land and they don't want to hear anything bad. 555 five, five is about conflict. So today there could be some sort of conflict between partners, two partners, that ends, you know, in somebody making a decision that I can't stay here anymore. This hurts too much. I feel as though we, ha this is regrets. So remember, I just mentioned regrets. Somebody may, may have regrets. Somebody may be feeling guilty. Somebody uh, is probably struggling with their decision. Somebody is struggling with their decision, but there's been too much anxiety that this whole situation has brought about. Somebody has been dealing with too much stress hanging on to this situation where it's like it's a constant freaking battle. And this person has felt trapped for some time. And I feel like this person is ready. It's like now they see I can't do this anymore. This hurts too much. I'm not doing it. I got to do what's right for me. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about somebody. There, there could be a relationship that is coming to an end. Somebody may be seeing that they were dealing with somebody who really wasn't emotionally available. This person may have swept them off their feet in the beginning. And now, you know, they realize that that's not love. This is, there's nothing there. That's not love. So I feel like somebody is getting the clarity they need that is going to help them. 
painfully, okay, they're experiencing, this is pain, okay, this isn't going to be pretty, it's not pretty, it's not pretty, I think there's some sort of battle or altercation or fight or nasty words or whatever it is that are said that gives somebody the clarity that they need that they need that tells them that you need to get out of this you need to get out of this you can't keep staying here this has stolen your energy it's stolen yourself it's stolen you know it's drained you and I feel like somebody you know just decides I can't do this anymore and it's time to walk away. It's time to sever these ties. So I feel like today, and here's another five, okay? I told you. I'm telling you what. Expect the unexpected. There could be a conflict today that causes somebody to sever ties. If you were to look up this card, this is severing ties. We got somebody here that wants to win at all costs. And it looks like both of these people do. And when there's no compromise, nobody wins. So somebody's losing. Yeah, somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to win because these people are going to walk away. But this person really isn't the winner. He doesn't have any respect. None. So I think that somebody is being pushed away because they're dealing with another person who has a big ego. And there's nobody will compromise. There are no, there are no winners here. This is that song, you know, this is foolish. It's foolish. So I feel like there's a relationship <laughs> that somebody is breaking free from. And I think this relationship was definitely not based on love. Because I'd like somebody to point out the love in these cards if they probably could. But I'm sure there's nobody that can. Because there ain't no love in these cards. There isn't. At one time, there was some stability and there was some false love. You know, there was false love. There was stability. There was security. <laughs> there may be some assets. There may have been some sort of spiritual connection that needed to be learned. Maybe it's about self-worth. Maybe it's about self-value because I feel like we have two people here that don't value each other. They value themselves, but not each other. So I see an ending here. There is an ending. Somebody gets the clarity that they need, that helps them, that pushes them to stand up for themselves, deal with the pain, and get themselves out of a false relationship. It's like this person, it's like, I'm ready to let go of the emptiness. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to deal with this conflict. I don't want to deal with this stress. Somebody has been really stressed out, hanging on, staying in this prison. And it's like, now I just want to relax. I need to take a break. I can't do this. So somebody may receive. Well, it's not like they're going to receive. They're, they're going to hear it. They're going to hear it. Because I think there's going to be some sort of altercation where th something gets said. And, and somebody just like decides. The decision is made. You know, I can't do this anymore. This isn't who I am. This has stolen my energy long enough. This isn't who I am. This has got to be more to life than this. This can't be this can't be what it is. So I feel like we get somebody here that, you know, hasn't been living in a real relationship, not real, not real relationship, and they get this clarity that they need, you know, you're going to have to deal with this pain. You're going to have to stand up for yourself and remove yourself from this situation. So this is the day of clarity. Somebody's moving. It's over. There's a feud. There's a feud, the family feud. But it could be between partners, okay? These are partners, a couple. There's a feud here. There's a fight that is going to end, okay? It's going to end something. There's, there's pain here. There's suffering. But this pain, you need to experience. You need to experience it. <laughs> True suffering brings true growth and I know that people don't want to hear that 
but that's the truth. Trying to escape pain doesn't bring success. It's part of your growth. So I feel like today is a day of completing a painful cycle even though it hurts. So expect the unexpected. Expect to experience some sort of hurt. That's the reality of it. This hurt is going to bring you growth. And I can't pretty this up. And any reader that tried to is a fake. Good luck.